Are, are we are we are we are we are we jumping across the street? We got the, we're going up to we got the Bay Area. Yeah, man. From the first right on, shout out to the girls. Uh, I what's the girl name? Ethel Bridges. And no, no, no. I mean, I need the I need the other girl name because we gotta respect her. Uh, yo, ooh. I don't want to mess it up. I know, I know you're gonna get it. When you get it, just give it to me. And then, yeah, later, then I'll have it. It's uh, it's yo something. But I, I'll start it off until you get to it. Um, this was the second fight that I said when I was watching the first. Mario Shita, Shita, Yoshida. That's what it is. Yeah, man. Yoshida. Yeah. That that I that is a contender. Wanted she she went and got it. She went and took it. And you need that to be Evan. Henry, that's what happened to the first game. game. Yeah. So uh, that's that what I said. She being Evan. Yeah. She like she fighting that fight that Ebony. That's that's Ebony fight right here. Yeah. She was beating Ebony in her game. And that, that was the fight. That was so when I was watching that match, I was like, this is just bad matchmaking right here. They put her, they didn't put her in a in a position to succeed. You know? Um, and let me make this clear. When you when you're putting on the promotion, you got your starters on this promotion, you want your fighters to win. You know, so I thought that when it came down to it, they should have been matching Ebony Bridges with somebody that was, for the sake of words, tailor-made for her. As, listen, listen, okay. listen. When you're not a mandatory challenger for a oh, belt, okay. Okay. And, you're, mandatory. and you're not a champion, okay. you can, you're supposed to find someone who's tailor-made for that fighter so that that fighter looks good, so that they want to see that fighter, that champion, in the in the big championship fight. So yeah. So oh yeah, I was gonna cut you off and say that was her. Maybe that was her number one contender, but it was that not. wasn't. Yeah, that's bad matchmaking. Yeah, as you would say, that's bad for business. It was. You know, I I know that there were. This was like a last minute opponent. They got this Yoshida young lady in the two ish weeks before the fight, and um. The other side of that is I heard that the I heard the commentators when the fight started, they said Ebony told us in the fighter meeting that she was excited to show us what she's been working on. You get matched up against somebody that that is that you haven't had any uh, uh, training, uh, any preparation for. You do what you know. You don't do what you've been practicing. You go back to the stuff that you know, yeah, because you know that works. You were preparing for somebody, and this is what we're going to use against this somebody. When this somebody goes away, all that you was using goes away. You go back to what you know. You stay safe, and you do what you need to do to win the fight. Uh, the opponent, Sean, has just fought a month ago. I know. Loss. Yeah. And they, they said that that was um, it was a fight in New York, I believe. And they said that that fight was um, like a it was a it was a bomb burner. It was a it was a really physical fight for Yoshida, and they were surprised that she even took this fight. Yeah. So the other side of that, again, remember, your people on the outside, they're always watching the champions. They're always getting prepared for the champions. In their mind, they hit the bag and fight you. Not hit, yeah, I'm not hitting the bag imagining 10 and 0. I'm hitting the bag imagining 25 and 0. I'm hitting the bag imagining what I'm going to get in the ring with Mayweather. You know what I mean? So there's this, this psychological preparation for a young lady such as Yoshida who gets to fight in a two weeks notice because she knows her goal is to get to that belt. So you're you're always preparing for who has the belt. <laughs> when the belt moves, you just your mind moves to who got the belt now. Damn, I never even thought about it like that. So she comes out, Brid Bridges comes out, and she's not with that aggressive style. She's trying to just box and things like that. And I think that that gave the, the woman, uh, Yoshida, gave her a chance to see and taste and feel. And she was like, that's it. You, you ain't got nothing. Yeah, yeah that's you ain't got nothing. nothing. Yeah. Because... Then I, I've really seen after a while, Ebony was like, okay, we just got to bang it out. But she didn't have the muscle memory ready for that. The muscle memory, she couldn't just click it. She couldn't just snap and go to who she is. You know what I mean? Why is that? Because of training? Because I think because of training and also because of the, the rhythm that she had been moving in already. You know, it's, it's almost like, I don't know how good a dancer you are, but if it's one, two, one, two, and then somebody come in and say, all right, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. See, you're done. And all of a sudden, you got to pick it up. If you, a lot of times, when your rhythm been one way for a couple of rounds, it's hard to kick in and just throw all that out the window and say, hey, I got to go get it. Uh, well, Rematch. I thought about that. 
I think I, I think sure. it's deserving of a rematch. Absolutely. Even though I don't think it was that exciting of a fight, but I think that is deserving of a rematch. Okay. I think Ebony will be more prepared, but I didn't think it was deserving of a rematch. You did or did not? Did not. Uh huh. I felt like my girl did everything it took to dominate and win that fight. That's like when I fought Kell Brook. And everybody's like, why why didn't you get the rematch? Why didn't you get well the weirdly was no clause for the rematch yeah. Yeah. and or whatever the case may be. Yeah. And so it just we never ran it back. That fight I thought probably more than likely was worthy of a rematch, but no cause. I'm bouncing and I'm going on to move on with my career is what was what Kel did. And I mean, to be honest, Ebony is a name. Yeah, Ebony can move with or without belts. Yeah. But I if, if, if I know Ebony, she's a competitor. She wants she want that get, get back. back. Yeah. Yep. So.